welcome to the world of building design channel uh, this is Babak your host in this channel uh, this is Revit MEP um, tutorial number 38 so this is going to be the last tutorial from the basic Revit MEP tutorial training series and uh, after the end of this tutorial uh, I would move into other tutorial focused on fire protection and a sprinkler system design so in this tutorial I would like to show you how to uh, transform an entire system into a fabrication part um, you know module so in this case I'm going to create a new um, you know mechanical model so going to a new mechanical model as usual in the model in the new I'm going to select a new and then in the construction template I'm going to select a mechanical template and then making sure that we are in the metric mode so I'm going to see and double check this is mechanical default metric um, that's the unit in which we are doing this uh, you know this uh, modeling uh, I'm going to select open and then go OK so once we have opened a new um, mechanical model in metric unit, I would like to attach an architectural uh, sample plan that we used to use in the previous tutorial. This is a refresh attachment. Uh, we have done all of this tutorial before. This is a repetition of what we have done in the past. So uh, now what I want to do is I'm going to link the architectural plan to, to this Revit MEP model. So then what we used to do, if you remember, we, we could go to insert tab on the top and then use uh, link Revit or you could come all the way down on the link, Revit link in here on the left hand side project browser right click and then press on a new link so once you press on a new link a new box opens up and then from there I'm going to select my uh, directory in which I have saved my architectural floor plan. So I'm going to go to this app. I'm going to copy and I'm going to bring it in here, put it in here, open, and then from this list, I'm going to find architectural and then make sure that your positioning is auto origin to origin. And then I'm going to go OK. Once my architectural plan is already insert into my uh, mechanical template, the first thing we do, as you remember, is that we go to uh, pin this. So I'm going to go and find pin. So what I need to do is I'm just going to just left click on my architectural floor plan view from the top. As soon as I just left click there's a new box opens up here where I can pin my floor plan so this is the, the command called pin once I press on the pin this floor plan is pinned so when we draft other mechanical component uh, and uh, by accidental if you need to move any of the mechanical component or new mechanical model uh, it doesn't allow the architectural plan to move so it, it, it's uh, it's a must thing to do as soon as you start a new mechanical project then I'm gonna go to edit type in here in my linked Revit model and I'm making sure that the room bounding constraint is checked in because once I check in all the walls are recognized as a boundary of the room this is a helpful for us to you know determine the heating cooling zone and uh, understanding the, the size of the room and all the properties of the room as it relates to your mechanical design work then I'm going to apply and okay okay once I've done that I would like to go to floor plan and actually on the ceiling plan mechanical one one dash ceiling plan I double click on that and I'm on this plan here because I want to draw some air distribution system 
such as a VAV and two uh, air terminal uh, diffusers and some dock for connection. So I'm going to go to System tab on the top. You remember this from the early on tutorial of the basic Revit MEV training where we could go to System and then on the Mechanical Equipment command in here you select and then from this tab basically I'm looking at the VAV units. So I'm going to go and grab a VAV uh, size 3, 250 millimeter. I'm going to select that. But remember, we need to uh, add or we need to determine the offset from host. The host in here is the floor, uh, you know, floor level. Uh, I'm going to go um, 30, 60 here as a height from the floor. And apply. And then now I can see my uh, VAV box showing in here. So I'm going to just basically put it in somewhere here. I'm going to reverse this. Just put it in here. I just want to highlight to see which direction it is. Basically this is out direction and this is good. That's the direction I want to, to see because this is basically as an air distribution. Um, actually low pressure air distribution to the terminal units. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring um, basically two uh, terminal units from the top in the system. I want to bring to a diffuser. Basically what it is right now here is a good thing I, I can select. Actually I'm going to, I want to have a supply diffuser. So I'm going to select the supply diffuser and give it an um, elevation of um, 24.50 apply and then I'm going to show it somewhere around here and then I'm going to select another one right here by selecting one of this diffuser I don't need to show uh, air um, you know air direction so I'm going to take it off from the property of this air terminal and check all of this apply, I'm going to remove that, do the same with the other diffuser and then apply then I'm going to select my um, VAV and then where the create dock showing up in here out, I'm going to pick a dock work like I'm going to use the default size which is uh, 350 by 280 height I'm going to select the same one I'm not changing it and I'm going to extend the dock work all the way to here and then escape a couple of times I'm going to cap this dock work by highlighting this dock and then cap the end of this dock the other thing I want to do is I want to highlight this uh, air terminal and then I'm going to use this command called connect into by pressing on the connect into then I'm going to select my dock work and see what happens so you see that's the automatic connection um, of my docked from the terminal unit it's a hard docked or it's a rigid dock that is connected directly to, uh, to the main distribution dock let's do the same with the other one and see what happens First select the air terminal, connect into, and then the actual Okay. So there must be some you know there is some error in here showing the attachment sometime uh, you know the connection is not acting perfectly I'm going to go back and I'm going to do something else I'm going to select the dock work basically from here to select the dock first before I do that I'm going to check this dock work see what is the middle elevation of this dock is 30 60 so I want to do a new dock basically going to go to the dock I want to select the wrong dock rather so I'm going to go to tabs and then 
so the middle elevation is 3060 so that's good so I'm going to basically get the middle making sure that this is in alignment with the center of the air terminal so I'm going to select that and come all the way to here okay you have to check why this is not right in the middle of this dock yeah the main reason is that okay let's let's cut a let's cut a cross section and see what what is showing up here as this connection I'm going to change the direction of this section you remember how we used to to show that right by pressing on this arrow you could change the direction of the section now we're going to look i'm going to go and do a fine view so this duct because because this duct is okay this duct is too large to be connected here that's why it is showing has a bad connection here so I'm going to change that to 250 so let's go back to ceiling plan I'm going to basically take this whole dot highlight delete more dot connection here let's get a dot around dot I'm going to set the 200 dot here. Go to the center, making sure that you see this dashed line to the center. So I'm going to select this point and then extend to here. Now, I'm going to take this dot, right click, and then I'm going to create a draw a flex duct. For the flex duct, I'm going to use the same diameter and I'm going to go to the center of this and make a connection. So let's have a 3D look at what we have done so far. So we have done this duct connection through the flex duct, round rigid duct, and also a hard rigid rectangular duck to, to this. I want to create a section to see how this how our terminal units are flashing with the ceiling plan. So let's move this a little bit further and take this to here. I'm going to look at the section. See our we are fairly good in terms of how we have flashed this with the ceiling plan. Okay, go back to the ceiling mechanic. So now what I want to do, I'm going to select the tab or press on the tab two times until I select all of my systems here. And then now what I want to do, I want to make sure that we have all my fabrication already in the system. So I have to go to system in the fabrication part, in the fabrication setting, just to see if I have anything loaded. I have to go to Revit MEP metric. I'm going to select only the dock work for this um, because we had mostly the dock work as a system here. So I'm going to select all of my dock related items and then put it in the loaded services here. Okay, and once we have done that, I want to do a tap a few times until the entire system is connected or selected. And then what I want to do, I want to go to design to fabrication command here. So you press design to fabrication and now all of a sudden you see all of the different type of dock for fabrication services that you uploaded or downloaded into your library is in here so I'm going to select say a thousand in Pascal dock for pressure for this system then I press OK and then as you can see everything is changed into proper 
connection or dock fork or uh, tap and everything is based on the fabrication but what else we can do is by selecting this main dock fork I can even optimize the length of that dock fork pressing on the optimize so I see what is the issue here I'm going to relocate this a little bit by highlighting on this dock As you can see, this dock fork is now chopped into a smaller sections. Let's have a look at 3D model of this system. Let's go back to ceiling plan mechanical. And there is an error in here. It says the family connected in the network and can no longer keep the connectivity. I'm going to disconnect this and now have a 3D model of this dock. And as you can see, here we have an interface between this, uh, you know, tap shoe and the flanges of this dock. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to ceiling plan and I'm going to relocate this entire pieces. So I'm going to tap on the whole system, highlight and then nudge it to the right hand side by the, you know, arrow key. I'm going to bring it far from here. So now let's see what happens. Uh, I'm going to do the same with the, with the other one, nudge it to the left side, okay? And so now I'm going to select everything again. Okay, and then go back to 3D model. So that's basically you transform a Revit MEP model into fabrication. After designing a system, you download all of the relevant fabrication parts and then you use the fabrication uh, command or fabrication, fabrication command by highlighting. Then you use the changing into the fabrication. So thank you very much for watching this video and uh, I hope you have enjoyed this series of uh, Revit MEP tutorial. These are basic tutorial. And in the next series of uh, Revit MEP, I want to focus on the uh, fire protection and sprinkler system design. Thank you and I hope you enjoyed this series.